Hey there, it's Josh Hardy with Hardy Brothers Outdoors. I am super excited today to tell you about my new DRC 200E four-wheel drive brushless RC car. I've already got it out of the box, so I'm gonna tell you what was in there. I'm not gonna get into all the specs and details because you can read them uh, on the uh, website, but we're gonna put this thing in action real quick here and show you just how fast and how cool this thing is. Uh, we've started to do a lot of things with RC cars and drones, and uh, we thank DRC for sending us this one to try out. And uh, we're gonna put it to test here out in the yard and see what we get. So first, let's talk about what's in the box. In the box, you get two of these uh, shells that are uh, pretty indestructible, they feel. And uh, one of the things that I'll, I'll point out is you can almost not even tell, but there's a, a film on here that you're supposed to peel off. So you'll have to kind of pick at it. There's a label that says, you know, make sure you do that. But I figured I would just go ahead and peel that off to show you. And then the, uh, the car looks even better. Uh, so it's got this clear protective film on it. Also comes with this tail fin that has to be installed. Everything's installed with these little cotter pins. And I'm gonna do the final install here in a few minutes, come back on camera. I wanna make sure I don't lose any of these small pieces down through this deck. Uh, inside the box, you also have two uh, batteries that are gonna last about 20 to 25 minutes a piece. The uh, chargers are two USB chargers. And uh, I think it takes about 250 minutes to do a full charge uh, on the batteries. They were uh, pretty well charged out of the box, didn't take quite that long. That's what goes on, that's with, with the car. We'll get that set up. There's also a whole bag of accessories and tools that come with it. I'm super, super impressed with how much stuff they actually provide you, knowing that these things are gonna go through um, some pretty rugged use, especially at the speeds they go at. The manual is excellent, it tells you what every component uh, on the car is, gives you a complete breakdown, and you can actually buy and replace anything on this, uh, this RC car. So knowing that you're gonna run, run it hard and jump it and run it into things and what have you, uh, there's a full schematic for the, um, uh, for the car. So everything you need to know is in the guide. It's, it's very well detailed. Uh, FAQs if you're having problems and uh, order details for more parts and that sort of thing. So um, we're gonna get this, uh, this thing going here in just a second. <clears throat> Here's the bag of accessories. And as I mentioned, chargers and two batteries. For the remote control, it has a spot for three AA batteries. It does not come with those, so we've added those in. And uh, it just tells you here a little bit of details on uh, when you're connecting it the first time. You have a speed trim. So you can trim it down while you're learning how to run it or speed it up and it has a steering trim and uh, that's the, the bulk of what you need to know about this you got forward and reverse that's the rest of it and uh in the steering wheel so let's get this thing set up and get it running This thing is fast. If you don't uh, realize how fast it is, you're gonna have to probably dial it down a little bit. At least I am, make sure I don't tear it up too bad. <laughs> Man, this thing's pretty awesome, but I'll tell you one thing we tell people when they ask us to try out their products is we're not gonna baby your product. We're gonna run it hard and uh, put it to the test. Today, we did that. I don't know if these wheels weren't tightened down all the way, so that's something I'll check as a uh, pre-drive checkpoint, but uh, we lost a wheel out there on a jump. It came down pretty hard on the front, front wheel, so no big deal. The bolt that goes on it was right next to it, and even better, there's four more in the packaging, so it's going to happen. It's just a matter of when, not if. 
So we got the little tool that came with it down in there, tighten it back on. And we're back in business. I'm gonna try the other ones just to make sure they're tightened down. A little tiny little crank on there. So probably something to do after you take it out every time is just to check your your lugs to make sure they're tight. And we're good to go. So uh, we're gonna get it back out there, do some more running. You can see it's muddy out there today, and this thing is just eating it up. So we'll have some cleanup to do on here for sure uh, to keep this thing in good working order. But uh, it definitely is uh is fun so some some learning curve on the speed i suggest that you dial it down until you're comfortable with it and it just depends on where you're running the more open space you have the faster you can run my yard is full of uh, bumps and divots and puddles and what have you and this thing handle it just great so thanks a lot for watching have a great day and we'll see you next time